If you look Packard 48G graphing calculator debuted back in 1990 for an astounding $350, offering a whopping 32 kilobytes of RAM. Hey guys, one by Jerry Productions. It's that time for another exciting app review. I'm gonna go to my Android Play Store and search for Droid 48. I believe on iOS it's called uh, HP 48. Okay, I'm gonna download this. It looks like it's made by Arnaud Brochard. There are some various versions. I'm gonna go ahead and choose the top one. It's one million. It's got 1 million, over 1 million installs. Should be pretty quick. It's a simple software. I'm gonna open it. And there you go. Let's compare the two devices, guys. It is exactly the same. All the buttons that you come to expect, such as the scientific, all the engineering calculations, pretty much intact. Right, so I'm gonna go here and test it out. Um, so I am going to go to my typical equations that I typically use, such as um, I do equations such as you know in series that you can't typically put in a cheap calculator. Use quotes because I'm doing stuff in series. Let's just do something for example like that. Divide by twenty. And then times uh, as a sine of 90 uh, plus 3.14159. Evaluate. There you see, it's 3.7159. Um, let's go ahead and go to the graphing. If I still remember, it's been a while though. All right, I'm gonna start on something simple. I'm gonna try to graph the sine of 90. So notice there are two different colors. Actually, there are various different colors. You see how the purple goes with the purple uh, words and also the turquoise with the turquoise functions. So I'm gonna go to plot and I'm gonna type in sine of uh, 90. Okay. And then click on draw. See how these buttons right here correspond with the lower most black tab. So the sine of 90 is just straight across. The sine of 90 is uh, I think 1. So I'm going to go back to... Um, you can also zoom. Let's zoom in. Um, cancel. Zoom out. So I'm gonna cancel that. And I'm gonna try to plot the um, e to the x power. How about that? So, so e to the x this exponential curve. So I'm gonna just keep it simple like that. And other thing that I still remember to use is like um, converting units. Let's do something basic. Let's say you want to convert um, 100 meters convert to uh, feet since we used to feet. Let's see if I still remember how to do this. To convert, you will use the purple button, and then once you press that any of the units that you want. So that's 328 feet. It carries over the decimals. By the way, this also has an alarm in there, but I'd rather use my smartphone. Uh, so let's say if I want to convert that to inches, 3,937 inches. So I just wanted to let you guys know that this calculator plus many others are out there. Um, I'm not sure if they allow you to use a smartphone emulator, probably not in school, 
So, can you guys use it? Hit me up in the comment section. I'm curious. I want to know. So if not, um, or you know, if they allow it, why pay for the calculator? Because it's gonna cost you. I think, even though it discontinued two thousand and um, four, I think this still goes brand new for like about a hundred dollars. But you could probably get it used on eBay. Yeah, it's a handy calculator. I use it all the time at work. It comes in handy, and it's got all the functions that you need. Come to expect from a graphing and scientific calculator. Highly recommend it. I'm hoping this app up with a 98%, guys.